consider this question. Step number one. By direct substitution, you got 0 over 0. Next, apply low hospital rule. Here, the option we got, apply quadratic equation. At the denominator, we're going to leave it untouched. At the numerator, let's apply quadratic equation by factorization method. Here, we got x squared. Hence, I will put one of the x here and the other x here. This x multiplied by this x will give you x squared. Next, at the end, we have 6. What are the two numbers? If we multiply them, they will give us 6. Here, we are going to use 2 and 3. Next, let's consider the middle coefficient which is 1. What are we going to do to 2 and to 3? So that if we add them together, we are going to get plus 1. That means 3 we have the positive and 2 we have the negative. The reason why we did not consider 6 and 1 is because Either plus or minus 6 or plus or minus 1 cannot return 1 at the middle except 3 and 2. Now you can see x times x will give you x squared and minus 2 multiplied by 3 will give you minus 6 and minus 2 plus 3 will give you plus 1. With this, this can now take away this. And we now take the limit of the remaining function as x tends to minus 3. And minus 3 minus 2 will give you minus 5. And your answer is b. If you apply differentiation to this function, you are going to get the same answer. You can check out for other videos. In pre-calculus. And to locate all the videos, you can follow the link on the screen. I will see you in the next video.